Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and problems with their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking or network unlocking of a mobile device in order for it to be able to be used with a different wireless carrier or network. Now here with us today we have a Samsung Galaxy A14 5G that is originally from AT&T here in the US. And this is a device that has not yet been SIM or network unlocked from AT&T because we have a different carrier's SIM card inserted here. <coughs> and we can see that it is asking for the network unlock code. And then if we dismiss that away, we also have this notification up in the status bar that says invalid SIM card inserted. So that is what appears by default on pretty much all AT&T devices before they have been network unlocked. And now AT&T, like most other wireless carriers, will do the SIM unlock for you if you meet all of their requirements, and therein kind of lies the catch. So pretty much all wireless carriers have their own list of requirements that have to be met in order for them to do the unlock for you. And there's a usually that you be the original owner of the device as the person making the request, uh, the device has to be fully paid off and not a contract and you can't be behind on your bills and you have to have used it with them for a certain number of days, weeks, months, whatever the case may be, and the list goes on and on. So over the years, we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves wanted to change carriers away from AT&T and use a different carrier, but before they were eligible to meet all of AT&T's requirements, to do the unlock or unfortunately a lot of times these days someone will purchase a used device from someone online and then discover that the device is not as advertised so the seller usually either claims it's already unlocked or that it's already eligible to be unlocked and all they have to do is contact the carrier or something along those lines but then after the purchase the buyer discovers that's actually not true that it's not unlocked and they have no way to do it themselves so we're here making this video today to give visual proof that our business does offer a service to be able to get this device network unlocked without having to go directly through AT&T and satisfy all of their various requirements. Our procedure is something that's done directly to the phone while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we did here with this one. So actually as I've been speaking I've been running our unlock program here on the device that goes ahead and takes care of that for us. As the last step of the process, it does power the phone off. So we're just gonna go ahead and reboot that now. And then we should be able to see that we no longer get those error messages that we were seeing before. Okay, so after giving it a couple seconds to fully boot up, we can indeed see that the device is no longer prompting for that unlock code like it was before, which is a great sign. And then if we go ahead and swipe down the notification panel, we can also see that the message about an invalid SIM card is no longer there. So those are basically our visual indications that the device has been network unlocked. Now, this SIM card that we have inserted is just a dead one for testing purposes, so it doesn't actually have signal to it, so the phone is not going to show that. But when we go under access point names here under mobile networks, it is showing T-Mobile's APN, and that is indeed the SIM card that we have inserted. So that's another great visual indication that the device is network unlocked successfully because a locked device would not show that there. 
So the device has now been network unlocked and is fully usable with any other compatible wireless carriers. And then just to verify exactly what we're working with here, if we pop down into the settings, we can indeed see that we do have an A14 5G and then that model number there, the SMA146U is the model number of almost all of the A14s that originally are sold by US wireless carriers. So if you have an AT&T A14 5G and need help getting a network unlocked, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified about all of the constant new various services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.